I'm Redis Power and this is a quick video review of Epic Proportions of Project Shellback which is none other than Playmates Toys 1997 Ninja Turtles The Next Mutation Venus figure. Now remember during my toy review segment when I actually reviewed this figure she was lacking on paint she was Pretty much a statue in most areas. Some areas she was able to move. Like she had a ball joint in one area of her shoulder here and there. And her legs here and there. But other than that, her elbows were molded. Her hands were molded. Her knees and her feet were molded. Her head could swivel. And that was really it. There was nothing else you could do. And definitely her color scheme was not show accurate. But that's all about to change. I am about to show you history, and as far as I know, I am the very first one to actually take my Venus figure and step up my game in my customizing and my skills, and to give a more show accurate comparison from what is this, pretty much, or what was this, to this. This project took half a year. That is a shorter amount of time than what Project Freedom Leader took, which was a whole entire year. So I have set the record straight. This is the shortest project I've ever worked on, but the hardest I have ever done. Sure, I didn't sculpt anything. Nothing whatsoever on this figure. Not like Project Freedom Leader, with the head of course. But the fact... That I put in so much articulation into this figure is what really defines this custom work and makes it the best project I have ever done. Ever. Sorry Freedom Leader, you've been beat. So, let's take a quick look at Venus, what she looks like now, or do the copyright, Shellback. So, this is her, Project Shellback. She's missing the V on her buckle, but I think she looks better without it. But all the detail is still here. All of it. As you can see, it's on the front of her shell. It's on the back of her shell. None of this has any hindrance whatsoever when it comes to detail. It's all still here. Sure, maybe I could go back and blackwash the figure a little bit. Get the detail to stick out a little bit more. But you know what? I'm not going to. I don't want to mess up this work. This fabulous work. If it ain't broke, don't try and fix it. There are some issues, like for the fact, due to the ball joint sticking out, you can see her neck is extended just a little too high. Definitely separated from the body, you can see that huge gap. That's the only real issue I've got with this. And some of this, you know, some of it's just here and there. So, I mean, she still holds in place perfectly pretty good but um there are some areas where some bits tend to come out once in a while but what do you expect it's a custom and i'm not really professional when it comes to customs i don't do them all the time and i definitely don't do commissions and you will notice that some of the paint is chipping off over here on the ribbon of her leg but um i can explain that that's the old paint i used to use before I stepped up my painting skills and went to some more professional methods. This is the stuff I use now. And this is not the black that I use for Venus. Or, you know, Shellback. Kind of a regret there. But you know what? It kind of gives her a little combat wear. Just like on the back of her shell with some of these scratches. And the only real difference between... The old one and the new one, which is pretty much the same figure. It's the fact, just like Michelangelo and all the other figures, the shells were not colored. I had stepped up the game, as you can see, and gave it a glossy look to make it look more like a hard shell. So yeah, definitely a major, major improvement of what she used to be. And speaking of articulation, let's go into it. She's got a ball jointed head, so yeah, it goes up, it goes down, it turns side to side, and it can go at an angle due to the fact that the ball joint is glued in the wrong position. My mistake. Her bandana, or her braid, 
can rotate now. So you can put it in any position you want. And I like it to be sticked out a little bit like that. Ball jointed shoulders. But that's been there. Ball jointed elbows. Yeah, complete 90 degrees. And they rotate as well. Swivel wrists. Ball jointed legs. But that's been there. But ball jointed knees. Ah, listen to that ratcheting joint. So yeah, it also swivels a little bit, which is kind of cool. And last but not least, ball jointed feet. They pivot up, and they do turn side to side, and they also angle, depending on where the ball joint is. It angles. So yeah, you can get her in a lot of positions, and I mean a lot. For what stability and what hindrance is here, which isn't much. I mean, sure, I could have shaped this down a little bit with a Dremel tool to get her to kick straight, but I chose not to because it would ruin the look of her design. But other than that, I mean, like I said, you want to put her in some pose you enjoy? I mean, problem solved. I mean, there's just no hindrance whatsoever. I mean, she will stand like so she's standing now i'll push her back some so you can see her completely she's standing no problem whatsoever see and for a quick size comparisons let's take a look at one of her counterparts michelangelo from the next mutation line and this is pretty much how she was in the beginning when i first got this figure her leg was in a 90 degrees position i think it was her left one her right one was pretty much the opposite they were opposite sides and this would be her scale compared to Michelangelo. But, now that she can stand straight, she towers over Michelangelo, which isn't her fault. It's not the ball joint's fault. It doesn't give her any extension to her legs whatsoever. It's just the fact that Michelangelo is also bending in a 90 degrees. Kind of, sort of. Maybe 85. So, yeah. Imagine what would Michelangelo's scale be compared to her if I was to do a custom to him. Who knows? Maybe I might. We'll see. I got other projects I'm working on. For other size comparisons with other Ninja Turtle figures of the past, let's bring in movie star Leonardo. And Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Raphael. So yeah. As you can see, she is a tall Ninja Turtle figure, but that's due to the fact that scale has changed over the years. So yeah, uh, stand up. Um, issues, issues. Uh, my only regret is I haven't gone back and painted her weapons, really. So, this is her broadsword, still in the original color that it was, but I'm a little worried that the paint will not stick too well on this kind of plastic. I mean, this is really rubbery. Sure, she's made of a rubber plastic, but this is really rubbery. So, I think it would just chip off too easily. But she could still hold her weapon, and now she can hold it in a lot of different positions if I wanted to, which is cool. I've even got her to pose a couple of times with weapon in both her hands, which is nice. So, overall, I really love this custom. And uh, my plan is probably to put her back in her package and put her on my wall. Also known as crossing this out and put Project Shell back because this is my work. This is not anybody else's work. This is not Playmates Toys work anymore, because where I have definitely gone back and retooled this figure completely. In paint and articulation. It ain't going to get better than this. And I dare somebody to try and outdo me. Yes, it's true. It's true. There are a lot of great customizers out there. And I did have plans to do my very own version of Venus for the Nickelodeon line. But... Due to the fact that somebody already beat me to the punch on Ranger Board, which I really don't have to explain or say your name, you know who you are, I've decided to hold off on it. If anything else, it's pretty much DOA, dead on arrival, just like Sonic Thunder. So, I mean, that's it, guys. i got nothing else to say. Hopefully you enjoyed this little show-off, which is about 10 minutes long. I've got... 
other projects in the works that I'm working on at the moment. I don't know why I keep stuttering, but something is flying around my head. Anyway, that's not important. I gotta go. I got other stuff I gotta get to. So, any questions or comments, leave them below. I'll answer them when I have time. And please, people, for the last time, do not ask me to do commissions. I don't do commissions, okay? I just can't. I don't have the time. I don't have the patience. And I definitely don't have the money. And your money's no good to me. I'm sorry. So, that's it. That's me, Redis Power, signing out. Thank you very much for watching this, guys. And I will see you next time.